Hi, I'm Finn Ponce. And I'm Jameera Sanders. Welcome to another episode of Blake Buzz. Today, we're looking at a brick and mortar student's experience coming back to school during a global pandemic. We look at award winning PSA from 2019 with an important reminder to buckle up. Next, we'll see a teacher at Blake who will show us a cool new way to apply a properly beauty product. Then we'll hear what some Blake students think of 2020. And finally, we'll listen to Blake's Jazz Messengers Band as they perform one of the greats. All this is coming up on Blake, Blake Buzz. Buzz. This year has been challenging for plenty of people, one of them being senior Colin All. Colin wonders if he makes the right decision coming back to school during a global pandemic. Let's take a look at how his school year has changed. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm 17 and um, I'm a senior at Blake High School in Tampa, Florida. And uh, well, school has been different this year with the pandemic and everything. In some ways it's better. I mean, I get to wake up later and go to school later and that's really because I have fewer classes and shorter schedule because I'm a senior but um, that is a plus for me this year um, it is different though in other ways there's there's a lot less people at school and it's sort of quieter there's a little bit less social interaction and that's because a lot of people are online as opposed to being in person like me but it's not really bad. Um, I actually don't have much homework like I used to, which is really nice. So when I'm at home, I can spend my time doing what I want, like reading or playing music or watching movies or going to work, which is always a plus to make money. Um, I do know as the year sort of goes on and my sort of senior responsibilities pile up, you know, things like college and work and volunteering and just any of that stuff. Um, I do start to wonder if I made the right decision going to school in person, and it's only because sometimes it sort of feels like almost an unnecessary use of my time and energy um, when I could just be getting all of that stuff done at home uh, in my own comfort. But um, I do think my idea of school has changed as well this year. I mean, it, it's, it's less social than before, and uh, I get to see less friends than I used to. And it's really, this year more than ever, it feels a lot more like I'm just going, getting my stuff done, and coming home. And if I want to see people or hang out with people, it's I sort of have to go out of my way to do that on my own, as opposed to just being able to see friends and talk to them at school every day. But um, either way, at the end of the day, it's different, but not necessarily worse. And I think with the pandemic and everything else going on, it's just kind of school is another thing that has changed. And uh, for better or for worse, it's still around and life goes on, I guess. So yeah, that's my year. Hey, Jamiria, have you heard of Battle of the Belts? No, it sounds familiar. What is it? Well, every year, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department holds a seatbelt PSA competition. This is a reminder to wear your seatbelt every time you're in the car. Two seniors from last year won. Let's take a look at their award-winning PSA.
Wow, that was such a heartfelt PSA with an important message. Thanks for sharing that with us, Finn. No problem. Hey, Jamiria, do you have a side hustle? No, why would you say that? Well, one of our favorite teachers, Ms. Jones, picked up a side hustle. She's selling Color Street nail products. They make doing your nails so simple. Let's take a look at how they work. Welcome to Beauty Corner. We're here talking about Color Street, which is taking the manicure market by storm. Color Street, essentially, is a brand of nail polish, but the cool thing about it is it's not liquid nail polish. It's actually a dry nail polish strip. And so the amazing thing about that is it is 95% dry. So it's just wet enough to be able to apply it and adhere to your nails. And then once you put it on, you can walk away and don't have to worry about any smudges. Everyone is able to do it simply. All you have to do is literally lay the strip down on your nail, press it down. You don't need any tools. You don't need any lights. Um, you don't need anything special. You can do this at home simply with the nail strips and maybe the only tool that you might want to use yourself is maybe a nail file. We say, when, when we talk about how long Color Street lasts, most of us say, um, and the company says, that they last up to two weeks. We have solid sets, so if you like yours, a little simpler. We have solid sets, and our solid sets are just $11. Uh, we also have glitter sets, so if you like a glitter and you like a little bit of extra bling, we have those, and those are $12. We also have um, sets that are actually have different types of designs on them, so floral designs, um, all kinds of different patterns, and those are $13. And then we also have French manicures, and our French manicures are $14, but the cool thing about those are the French manicures, they're buy one, get one free, and all the other sets that I just talked about are buy three, get one free. So you get amazing deals when you shop with Color Street. Okay, so um, I'm an educator, and um, another one of my fellow educator friends, um, she's like, hey, Khadijah, I gotta show you something really cool. And you know, you, everybody's heard that before. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. So I went down to go see her and in her classroom during our lunch period. And I was like, girl, I don't do my nails. I go and get my nails done. I don't do my nails. And she's like, no, you have to try this. As soon as she put them on my nails and showed me how to actually apply Color Street, I was instantly sold. There's definitely something for everyone. Um, and it also is um, appropriate for if you have super long nails, the strips are long enough for that. If you have super short nails, the strips are work for that too. So it doesn't matter your nail type, your nail shape, your nail style, um, your preference for color or bling, we've got it all for you. That's super cool. I'll have to try those out sometime. Hey Finn, did you know that Blake Jazz Band did an amazing cover of Dizzy Gillespie in Night Tunisia? No, but I've heard they're great. I'd love to hear them play. We're gonna look. I'm happy to have a clip of them performing. Let's take a look.
They sounded so good. Great job, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching this episode of Blake Buzz, and we'd like to thank our amazing crew. I'm Finn Ponce. And I'm Jameera Sanders. We'll see you next time on Blake, Blake Buzz. Buzz.